Hey y'all, good after, well you know what, it's good evening now. <laughs> good evening. And you know, I hope you all had a great day. Um, I want to go ahead and get into this story. Yes, that's Monique you're looking at. Have y'all ever had a good old drumstick? And it was so good and you just ate all that meat down to the bone. And that chicken drumstick was so good you broke that thing open and sucked out the marrow. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm sucking the marrow out this chicken leg. And this will be my last story, I think, about this topic. I think, I think I'm done. I wasn't going to talk about it, but I said, you better suck that bone marrow out that chicken leg. <laughs> so this uh, story, it'll be real quick, is about Millicent. Millicent, who is that? Who is, who's that? Millicent is Monique's sister. I don't know if Millicent is Monique's half-sister on her daddy's side or if Millicent is her full sister. Because sometimes that sister on your daddy's side ain't really your sister. Like, y'all blood sisters, but you don't really fool with her like that. I got like five of those. I don't know them. I wouldn't know them if I saw them. So I don't really, I only know the siblings that came out my mama. I don't know the, I don't know the mother people. So I don't know if Millicent is that kind of sister. So let me start off and preface, I'm going to use my big word today, and preface by saying that. Um, at the end, I'm going to add a point about another relative that said something, but I have a whole speech to add for that. So let's go ahead and read what Millicent said on social media uh, quite a few days ago, actually. So this, this story is, is stale. It's that bread you forgot to close, you forgot to put the twist tie on it, and you let that air get in, and just the whole loaf just ruined. It ain't no good no more. But God dang it, I'm going to toast it up and fix it up anyway. <laughs> That's what you do when, you, when that bread real stale and you can't eat it, and it's nasty, because you done forgot to twist tie and let the air get in. Put, toast that bread, you can still eat it. Suck the marrow out that chicken and toast that bread. So here we go. Millicent had this to say. Enough is enough, my sister. Stop the madness. It's not a good look. God has shut you down before, and believe me, he will do it again. Let's start by staying on topic. You are and have been displacing your anger on the wrong people. Why don't you start, sister, with you? And what begins with one digging deep and praying? When you pray and God hears us and gives and he gives it back to us, it should say something to you. But you chose to listen to the devil, the devil, <laughs> who was once a fallen angel. I know this bitch. Did not, I'm sorry. I know this woman did not say angle. I misspell things all the time. So let me, let me, uh, I'm sorry I said that. Once a fallen angel, I'm sorry I called her B. Take heed and clean your house up because it's dirty. Sis, I have to be dramatic, y'all, because this, this, this story is tired, so I got to make it dramatic. <laughs> Sis, you're coming with the same story over and over again. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Your career has been dead in the past, and now it's about to come to life. And now you are killing it again. And now the plug is about to be pulled on you and you are about to be canceled again. This time it's flatline. I just can't take any more. Yeah, hold on. Am I even recording? Okay. Oh, Lord's about to freak out. I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> Your career has been dead in the past and now it's about to come to life and now you Wait, 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 wait. And now you are killing it again. And now the plug is about to be pulled on you. And you are about to be canceled again. This time it's flatline. I just can't take no more text messages or phone calls. At one time, the stage in the world was your oyster. What you're doing now is offensive to the family. Our parents. Oh, okay. I guess they do the same parents. And your siblings. But all of a sudden, it's about you having to be right. I'm trying to go along with what she hasn't. If it's all capitalized, I want to be dramatic. Good, better, and different. And now you're wrong. 
as two left shoes. Absolutely maddening to see you embarrass yourself like this, which at this time is a reflection on the family, your true biological family, not your made made up family or your wife. Oh, she gonna call. She gonna do Sydney like that. Now, yeah, that's one thing. If I call Sydney sweet, as this woman's family, you, you don't need to be calling. That's not right. That's not right. I'm a old oh, regular. I'm, I'm a nobody in this. In, in reference to her family, her family member shouldn't be doing that. That's that's not cool. Uh, your made up family or your wife. Uh, technically, uh, lady, Millicent, her wife which is actually her husband, Sydney, is her family. That's what marriage is. That becomes your family. So stop it, Millicent. But your siblings and our parents, may they rest in... Wait a second. Wait a second. May they rest in peace and turning over in heaven on your earthly behavior. Although you did not... I can't get dramatic anymore. I have a high blood pressure. Although you did not sign up to your father's or your mother's funeral service. Hmm. I'm sure they forgive you because they know who their child used to be. I see you are making statements about other people's children. So where are yours? Nah, that's, y'all, I made a whole video about where's her son. But guess what, y'all? I'm a nobody in reference to her family. If I was Monique's family member, I would not do this. You don't do this. I'm a regular old commentator being messy. Family shouldn't do this. And about other people's children. So where are yours? Again, clean your house up and you'll be set free. LOL. I have receipts. Receipts of what, girl? We know she effed up. And you and your old bodyguard used to say, let's play nice. As you say, y'all, oh my God, hold on. Forgive me, y'all. I'm sorry. I have a lot of hustles going on. I have Nielsen ratings on my phone so I can get gift cards. I have another one on my phone. So they're always recording what I say so I can get extra money. I do a lot of hustles. That that was TMI, but y'all saw it. Okay. So anyway, as your old bodyguard used to say, let's play nice. As you say, this is all coming from a place of love. Sister, stop. Your biological sister, Millicent. Love you to life and will be here for you always. Oh, hell. Millicent, you as fucked up as Monique. I I'm going to lose my monetization. You, 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 you funky bitch. In the words of Corey Holcomb. <laughs> In the words of Corey Holcomb, you funky bitch. Now, that's one thing. My shady ass making comments and making videos about Monique. But your blood sister going to come online and do this? You funky bitch. And then going to end it with love you to life and will be here for you always. Well, y'all come from the same crazy. Saying that old crazy stuff at the end like, like, like you coming from a place of love. That's the same thing your sister do. Y'all both crazy. You don't do this to family. Y'all, I know it sounds crazy for me saying that with the videos I made. But you don't do this to your family. You funky bitch. Now, I ain't sorry for calling a funky bitch. This pissed me off. You don't talk against your family like this publicly. That's a no-no. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But anyway. Yeah. Millicent is a weirdo. You don't do this. At least I'm talking about Monique to try to get a coin. Why is your sister? You don't do this. You don't be talking about your sister like this. Millicent, what's the end game? Are you going to get paid for this? What is the point? Like I said, I do this to get a coin. Millicent, I don't know why your blood sister would be doing this. That's That's real dirty. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this with, uh, they said that Monique's brother came out and said something. Now, what I won't do, I even have boundaries. I, if that's the brother that harmed her in a bad kind of way, and y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all know, they went on Oprah, and he was talking about um, being abusive to her when they were growing up and when she was very small. If this is that same brother, you, if I'm assuming it's the same brother, I will say this, you disgusting freak. How dare you say anything about your sister after what you did to her? If that's the same brother, how dare he say anything about Monique? 
he violated her in the worst way, allegedly. This is that's what Monique said. And I'm going to choose to believe what she said because it does it generally doesn't benefit people to come out and say a sibling did that to them. In general, that does not benefit people. But that guy has that's disgusting. He should he should his mouth should be sewn shut after what he allegedly did to Monique. Um, dang, I was going to say something else about Millicent. I, I, I think I said what I needed to say about uh, Millicent. Um, she's not being paid. She's not trying to get a YouTube coin. I don't know why she's speaking. I think it's gross. And that last sentence is really disgusting. And the part about her not going to the parents' funeral. See, boy, this show is Monique's sister. Bringing up stuff that don't have nothing to do with the story. Bringing up Monique not signing up or coming to the funeral or did not show up to the funeral. They ain't got nothing to do with, with, with the story or the price of tea in China. Messy and throwing things in that are not relevant. So, we're going to throw in that she didn't go to the funeral. Okay, that's allegedly. We don't know. But let's say she didn't. How was Monique's brother able to get access to her? For the things that happened to her when she was little. How did Monique's parents react to that? How did that event that allegedly happened to Monique as a child from her brother affect her in her life? It's reasons why she may not have gone to that funeral. Let's not just say, oh, she didn't go to mama's and daddy's funeral. It may be a really clear cut reason. But Millicent didn't put that in. So I don't even want to go there. Y'all on that one. When it comes to people's parents, you don't know what people go through with their parents. Don't judge it because you don't know. A lot of people have real good parents, but not everybody does. And some people don't feel like they owe their parent no matter what the parent does or doesn't do. But I'll leave that there. But um, y'all done sucked the marrow out. I done toasted the stale bread. And I think I'm through. Okay, I hope y'all got a little... Well, a little kiki off this mess. Bye. <laughs>